If you have test results or another list of numbers in Excel, you could sort them to see which scores are at the top. However, if you want to leave the list in its current order, you can use the rank function to show the order of these scores. So, in cell C2, I'm going to create a rank formula and then copy it down to the bottom of this list. We'll see which position each student score is in. In cell C2, I'll start with an equal sign and type rank, followed by an open bracket. The first argument is the number, so I have to click on the cell that has the number I want to find the rank for. In this row, it's B2. Then, I'll type a comma and specify the reference. I want to compare it to all the other scores, so I'll start at B2 and drag down to B11. Now, I'm going to be copying this formula down to all the other rows. As I copy it down, I want it to always check the cell it's referencing but not change the cells it's comparing to. It should always be B2 to B11. To achieve this, while I'm at the end of this reference that I just typed, I'll press the F4 key. This makes it an absolute reference, so it won't change as I copy the formula down. I'll finish with a closing bracket and press enter. For example, the score of 46 is ranked 1, and I'll click on this cell and drag the fill handle down to see all the other ranks. In this cell, it's now looking at B7, but it's still locked into that B2 to B11 range to check the rank. 